Zoom in. Well, this this is number 15. The patient had an endo. The whole tooth is, is, is split right in the middle. We don't have to touch that piece because it'll just create bleeding and they won't be able to see very well. So what I'm going to do is take this elevator, which I've talked about before, and push it on the distal again all the way down. You have to use a lot of force to get this down there because you're pushing against bone. And I went down about that far to push the bone away. Secondly, I'm going to place my instrument right here. Now if I want to have a better purchase point and better angulation, I'm going to take my diamond and go down about two millimeters. So now instead of being here where I had to be, I'm farther down about two to three millimeters. And then I just lock the beak and the bumper on and I'm going to only use my wrist. Lock wrist. Never squeeze, never move my arm. And I'm just waiting. Even though that tooth is split in half, it makes no difference on this instrument. I'm going very slow, very slow. The tooth starts to move. <laughs> 